Bold time travelers today on will dive into a thought-provoking question. Why is life expectancy in the United States not only lower than in other developed countries, but also steadily declining over the years? Since the COVID-19 pandemic, this trend has worsened. But is the pandemic the sole reason? Absolutely not. There are multiple factors driving this concerning trend and today we'll break them down one by one. We'll also explore why Americans have a lower life expectancy than citizens of similar nations. If you're curious to uncover all the answers and understand this complex issue, stick with us until the end. Let's embark on this journey. One, the fentanyl crisis, a devastating impact on life expectancy. Let's start with a topic we've covered extensively on the channel, the alarming rise in overdose deaths, especially due to fentanyl. To put this in perspective, over 100,000 people died from overdoses in the U.S. last year, exceeding the combined American casualties in Vietnam and Afghanistan. According to the National Center for Health Statistics, overdose deaths rose by 16 percent from 2020 to 2021, although thankfully this year they seem to be declining. Shocking, right? While Canada also struggles with this issue, the U.S. is in a league of its own. If you want to explore this crisis further, check out our dedicated video on the topic. Two, obesity, another silent enemy. Next up is another significant factor, obesity. The US is not only the land of the free, but also the land of fast food and weight issues. Over 70% of Americans are overweight and 36% are obese, placing obesity-related mortality rates in the US among the highest in the world, far above those of other developed nations. Three, eating habits a key contributor to health problems. While many developed countries have improved their eating habits, the U.S. still struggles in this area. Obesity is a significant contributor to heart disease, diabetes, certain cancers, and strokes. All of these factors significantly raise mortality rates. Fun fact. Did you know the country with the highest obesity rate is Fiji? In their case, genetics may play a larger role. Stay tuned to where we'll delve into this fascinating topic soon. Smoking, a lingering legacy. While smoking rates in the U.S. have dropped significantly, its impact on life expectancy is still evident. Between the 1960s and 1980s, the U.S. had some of the highest smoking rates globally, surpassing Europe and Japan. Many of those who smoked during their youth in that era are now at an age where lung cancer and other smoking-related illnesses emerge. Interesting fact. Despite the decline in U.S. smoking rates, countries like China, Egypt, and Belarus still have the highest rates of tobacco-related deaths. Violence, a high homicide rate. When it comes to homicide rates, the U.S. leads among developed nations. In 2021, the U.S. homicide rate was 10 times higher than any safe European country. Even countries like Sweden, which face significant violence issues, have rates five times lower than the U.S. eye-opening statistic. For every 100,000 deaths in the U.S., five are homicides. Surprised? There's more to uncover. Let's continue unraveling this troubling story. Homicides, a disproportionate impact on the young. Although homicide rates in the U.S. have decreased in recent years, they disproportionately affect younger populations, significantly lowering the national life expectancy. However, this is not a decisive factor in the recent decline since 2020. While it contributes to life expectancy being lower compared to other developed countries, the primary cause lies in other factors, which we'll explore next. Another major factor, especially among young people, is the high rate of traffic accidents. In the United States, 10 out of every 100,000 people die on the roads, almost three times higher than in countries like Spain. In most developed nations, traffic accidents are at least 50% less frequent. Despite their importance, neither homicides nor traffic accidents are the primary drivers of the drastic drop in life expectancy since 2020. Now that we understand these factors, we're getting closer to the most decisive causes. Stay with us to uncover them. The best is yet to come.
If there's one thing that sets the United States apart from other developed countries, it's its high level of economic inequality, and the effects are devastating. Unequal income. Although the average income is higher than in many wealthy countries, the poorest people in the U.S. earn less than those in other developed nations. Infant mortality. The U.S. surpasses China and Russia in infant mortality and is closer to countries like Lebanon or Argentina than to nations like Italy or Spain. This is the most critical factor affecting life expectancy since high infant mortality, especially among disadvantaged groups, drastically lowers the average. Maternal mortality, this is also on the rise, especially among young mothers. In a country as wealthy and powerful as the United States, one would expect a robust healthcare system. However, the reality is far different. Limited access. There is no universal healthcare system, and poorer groups have less access to basic medical services. Pandemic impact COVID-19 exposed the healthcare system's weaknesses, worsening mortality rates. Economic inequalities also exacerbate previously discussed issues such as drug abuse, obesity, smoking, and homicides, as poverty hinders access to healthy food, increases the likelihood of substance abuse, and creates conditions that foster violence. Shocking statistic. The wealthiest 1% of Americans live 14 years longer than the poorest 1%. When overlaying graphs of economic inequality and life expectancy, the resemblance is striking. In regions with greater inequality, life expectancy is significantly lower. While other developed countries have strengthened their healthcare systems, in the U.S., inequality and the lack of universal healthcare continue to leave an indelible mark on its population. The conclusion is clear. Without addressing inequality and improving the healthcare system, this issue will persist. Bold Time Travelers, that concludes our analysis. Thank you for joining us on this journey and we'll see you in the next episode of Time Voyagers. If you enjoyed the content, please take a moment to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Your support means the world to us and helps us continue creating exciting videos. Don't forget to follow us on our social media channels, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.